every place that I've been, I haven't noticed any difference. I haven't noticed any difference. I still see people wearing masks, just like I saw people wearing masks, you know, yesterday, just like I saw people wearing masks a week ago, a month ago, a year ago. Like, there, it, it, nothing's changed. Oh, 28 miles an hour you're going really? yeah <laughs> cruising <laughs> super cool so I didn't bring a tripod and so I was able to clip my camera on my backpack so I don't have to don't have to hold the camera so I guess I'm gonna just go ahead and answer the magic question because I bet a lot of people are just wondering wondering this question here so what is the city back what is the city like now since you know this is you know officially the first day that you know, California is reopening and this is the first day that everything is you know going back to normal and you know they're gonna you know you know the social distancing is not a mandate anymore it's not a state mandate it's sort of um it's sort of up to the cities if they want to you know enforce that or if you know if restaurants want to still have social distancing you know they, they can still um do it that doesn't mean that uh people have just ditched the mass because for the most part all day every place that i've been i haven't noticed any difference I haven't noticed any difference i still see people wearing masks just like i saw people wearing masks you know yesterday just like i saw people wearing masks a week ago a month ago a year ago like there it, it nothing's changed um i actually thought that maybe certain businesses would would would, would be okay with people not wearing masks so i purposely went to like you know a handful of places i ran around and did some deliveries today but after going to i don't know like every place i went to every single place was still requiring you to wear a mask to come inside which was kind of um which was kind of surprising because it looks like it looks like a lot of um businesses are in this situation where they don't want to like I, I don't know if this is true because i'm pretty sure there's some businesses out there that are like look it's cool you don't have to wear a mask but like the places i went to today i didn't see any place where it was cool not to wear a mask like everywhere i went like i had to wear a mask you know and um i can kind of see how this could sort of be like a problem for a business owner because if you're a business owner you might be the type of person where you don't care anything about a mask anymore but maybe you don't want it to sort of hurt your business or you don't want to run off customers so you know on, on day one you, you you know you still have it in place that, that you have to wear a mask you know um, i can kind of see how that could um you know kind of be a little tricky and how certain people may want to continue wearing masks but the, the part i'm trying to figure out is how long is this gonna last for like literally how long is this gonna last for because me i went i got the vaccination i did not want to get the vaccination i totally did not want to get that vaccination i was completely against the vaccination at all but i went i got the vaccination okay i, I totally get it i got it right but now you you know people still want you to wear a mask so it's like why did i even get the vaccination like, why did I even waste my freaking time and be sick for three days times two? Because the first shot, I was sick for like three days, tired. Second shot, same thing. Um, you know, having your arm hurting for like, you know, two or three days, you know, someone touch your arm, it's like, ah, you know. You know, I, you go through all that and then you still have to wear a mask, you know. So now the CDC is saying, 
okay, if you're vaccinated and you've been vaccinated for two weeks, I've been vaccinated for, you know, more than two weeks, okay, it's safe not to wear a mask. And people are still freaking out. Like, people are still freaking out. So, I don't know. It, it, that's kind of what the city's like right now. Maybe things will change, like, you know, throughout the week. Maybe things will sort of open up and, you know, maybe places won't require a mask as much. Um, I, I did hear about a couple of restaurants that were adding their tables back because when um right when the coronavirus happened a lot of restaurants took their tables out like they reduced their table amount to like 50 percent or 30 percent or something like that now um restaurants can bring all the tables back in and i really haven't seen any restaurants do do that in the places that 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 i go to in the city but like i said like today i, I actually didn't go out to eat and the few restaurants that i did pick up from i didn't really notice like like any you know seating areas going back to normal um a lot of restaurants now like it's, it's kind of insane but a lot of restaurants now like instead of having like you know this large seating area they have like an area for like storage and you know food prep and uh, they just have more like because they're just doing more deliveries you know so i see a lot of restaurants are still kind of set up that way and i'm kind of wondering if you know, we're gonna see a lot of restaurants just not go back to like full dining. You know, if, if some restaurants do go back to full dining just like normal, but then we also see some other restaurants, now they just more rely on delivery and they, you know, don't dine people as much, you know, have people come in and, you know, sit down and eat as much. I, I've definitely seen that trend, like a, a bunch of different restaurants I picked up from. I, I just kind of wonder like, you know, will they will they go back to normal? Because it kind of looked like, you know, the setup that they got going on now is like the setup that they kind of, you know, they're, they're going to have to keep because, you know, this one restaurant I picked up from, like the kitchen was like crazy busy and they just had like, you know, all this, just, just all this stuff, like taking up like all this area that used to be part of the restaurant, you know? And then it, it was also like multiple bikes inside, like, you know, parked up on the side, like, you know, cycling bikes and stuff look like people may have like like cycled to work or something and now they just like leave it like in the the area where it used to be like the dining area where you know you used to have waiters and stuff like that but then also you got to think about restaurants once again restaurants have another problem on their hand they're having a hard time funding workers and you know a lot of people might think this is, this is pretty insane that restaurants are having a hard time finding workers like like how can this be like how can restaurants be having a hard time finding workers well, restaurants can be having a hard time finding work is very very easy this is super simple to answer people have been locked down for the past year right and if you're working at a restaurant and if you're used to you know making x amount of money and all of a sudden you went to work and they said okay we're gonna lock down we're gonna close down for three weeks and then you can come back to work and then that three weeks turned into you know 15 months guess what you probably figured out something else to do you know you probably figured out something else to do you know a lot of these restaurants maybe they had you know 15 different servers or 20 different servers like but let's use the example of a restaurant having 20 different servers now they you think have you think all those servers are going to come back maybe half of them will come back like i mean people are probably doing different things now you know so i, I can see that being a problem too restaurant owners are going to have a hard time trying to find people to flip burgers now especially with so many more opportunities i've even noticed just on uber eats a lot of the orders like pay more than than they did like just like a few weeks ago like like i just noticed that like the orders are literally paying more and that's because companies like companies like amazon is paying more and when a company like amazon starts to pay more it's sort of like push other companies to start to pay more and then it makes it harder for like once again it makes it harder for like small business people to find workers because now a small business is now like you know not necessarily in california but maybe a small business in like arizona now they see that you know amazon is paying 15 dollars an hour and they're paying less than that well how are they going to compete with that you know what i mean so it's just a sticky situation it's a crazy situation what's going on in the city but things are you know things are definitely opening back up um, I think with the whole mass, um, the whole mass mandate and the, the lifting of the mass mandate, I think this will, this will work um, very, very well in offices and stuff like that. You'll have more people come back to the office because if everyone is vaccinated in the office, I mean, you should be pretty safe, right? So I, you know, with them lifting the whole mass um, mandate, 
I see a lot of stores still implementing the mask mandate just because California did not like ban masks. They just lifted the mask mandate. You had other states like Florida and Texas, they straight up like ban mask. And when you when you when you straight up ban mask, what you do is you force businesses to say like, oh, you, you know, you, you, you can't wear a mask. So like everyone's on, on one accord. California did not do that. And California probably would never do that, which means that, you know, things are just going to be different. Like, you know, this place, maybe in the future, you can walk in with no mask on. But then this, this place over here, you, you have to walk in with a mask on. We don't know how long this is going to be for. But my whole guess and guess is I don't really want to be pessimistic here and I don't really want to like worry too many people. But my whole guess is we are probably going to go back in another lockdown in about one to two months. This is just my guess. Um, just talking to, you know, friends in the UK and talking to, you know, people all throughout Eastern Europe. And I was, you know, talking to a homie in like South Africa and someone also in, in Namibia. I've been like talking to a lot of different people around the world. And I think that, you know, we're definitely going to go back into a lockdown. I think that, you know, this new variant of COVID, the, the whole Delta variant, I think that, you know, we're, we're just going to go back into lockdown. And you know, that's one reason why I see maybe people are like freaking out and they don't want to take their mask off because, you know, yeah, there's there's a big danger coming along the way. But I don't know. It's, it's a disaster. 80 percent of San Francisco population is vaccinated. 80 percent. That's that's a very, very large percent of the population that's vaccinated. I don't know any other state, any other place, any other city in the U.S. that has a vaccination rate that high. So that's pretty dang insane. But anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap this video up. Thanks a lot for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace out, yo.